Hello Donuts! Today we are going to be reacting to a movie called The Devil Wears Prada. This is apparently one of the most iconic movies to come from the 2000s, so I'm excited to watch it for the first time. I've heard it's really brutal as well, so I'm excited to see what's to come. This movie also made like over a quarter of a billion dollars at the box office. Oh my god, this has to be good! <laughs> Guys, what is this movie? Why are they all in their undercrackers? People told me to watch this. Is this about something I didn't think it was about? God, the devil wears Prada. Apparently the devil wears nothing. <laughs> We're a minute and 30 in, and I know I'm very impatient, but I want to know why the devil wears Prada. To me, the devil wears Lonsdale. Anyone that wears Lonsdale, when I come up against them, they always seem evil. They always seem like they want to beat me up. People in Prada never seem to want to beat me up. I don't think they're the devil, but we'll see. Oh, okay, so she must be in fashion. I have an appointment with Emily Charlton. Andrea Sachs. Oh, queen. Absolute Emily Blunt. What a queen, right? Have you ever watched The Quiet Place? Have you? You haven't. Oh, get to watch it. If you don't know, get to know. So I was Miranda's second assistant, but her first assistant recently got promoted, and so now I'm the first. Oh, and you're replacing yourself. Well, I am trying. Miranda sacked the last two girls after only a few weeks. Okay, so they're building this Miranda up to be some sort of... Is she the devil? I know Meryl Streep's in this movie, so... So she, surely she's got to have a big character. Is she Miranda? A million girls would kill for this job. It sounds like a great opportunity. I'd love to be considered. Runway is a fashion magazine, so an interest in fashion is crucial. What makes you think I'm not in? Oh, that's so brutal. Imagine that. You get judged as soon as you walk in. Imagine if that was... I, I would get... Like, look, look at the way I'm dressed right now. Imagine I went for this interview. Just some football shorts on. Commando. Don't know why I admitted that. That's a bit weird. I'm just ready for bed. She's on her way. Tell everyone. Oh my it. god, another one? How many goats are in this movie? Big Stanley Tucci? What a king. This movie's gonna be great. Oh, are they Prada? Oh, okay, right, this must be Miranda. Oh, it is Prada. Just in case we didn't know, thanks for that. Just for us who don't know what Prada shoes are, they, they put a big logo on the bag just to make sure we know who's coming. <laughs> For the slippers for some Dolce & Gabbana high heels. By the way, subtle flex. Right, all right. We get it. You're doing well. Are you really that bothered? Like, how could you live your life like that? Imagine that was your job every single day. To be fair, uh, whenever I record underneath my desk, I wear my high heels also. But you knew that. I feel like she's going to spit at Anne Hathaway. Sorry, <laughs> Why did you get out the lift, you pussy? And you apologise. Why did she apologise for being in the lift before her? That's wrong on so many levels. Oh, guys, there's more of them. Elevator bands coming soon, don't worry. This woman must be evil. How many bodies has she got on her list? I'm interested to see why she's evil. No, I'm so sorry, Miranda. I actually did concern last night. of your incompetence do not interest me. And RSVP, yes, the Michael Kors party. I want the drive to drop me off. <laughs> Why did that woman, she was clearly going that way and saw her and went, ooh, that's her skirt back here. What is wrong with this woman? She's got to do something severe. Like if you look at her the wrong way or you don't give her the good guy smile, you know, if you walk past her and you don't go, does your whole family get crucified in front of you? What, what's the deal here? And then call my ex-husband and remind him that parent teacher conference is at Daltner tonight and then call my husband, ask him to please meet me for dinner at that place I went to with mum. If she was telling me to, to ring her ex-husband, I'd be like, you fucking, you ring him? I'm not ringing him. That's too personal. That's weird. I'm not doing that. I'd give her a freaking smack on the face. Mm -mm. And I'd nick her Prada shoes and sell them on eBay. Human Resources sent her up about the new assistant job and I, and I was sort of pre-interviewing her. Well, well so. clearly I'm going to have to do that myself because the last two years you sent me were completely inadequate, so send her in. Oh, no, don't send her in. She's going to ruin Anne Hathaway's life. Don't do it, Meryl. This is foul. Don't let her see it. Oh. <laughs> My name is Andy Sachs. I recently graduated from Northwestern University. And what are you doing here? I think I could do a good job as your assistant. She's going to get destroyed in this movie. She's going to lose her entire self-confidence. But I feel like, obviously, this is a movie, so I'm just as an early prediction. Is she going to, like, get destroyed? And then she's going to start doing really well, and 
and then I don't know does she, does she like have a come off and then does she actually take her job at the end I don't know does she die I came to New York to be a journalist and uh, sent letters out everywhere and so you don't read runway no and you have no style or sense of fashion oh come on love we all do this in job interviews I remember I had a, a job interview for TGI Friday I was researching the, the date the company started the most bought meals I was like I'm gonna tell you Mr. TGI god I know more about this business than you I should have your job I was editor in chief of the Daily Northwestern I, I also uh, won a national competition for college journalists with my series on the janitors union which exposed the That's exploitation all. of Nah. You know what? I wish I had that power. I wish I had that, like, attitude. If someone's just speaking, I'm just like, get away! Out of my vicinity now! I learn fast and I will work All right, very hard. I got hard. the exclusive on the Cavalli for Gwyneth. But the problem is... Oh, she is, was interested there. She looks like she's working the main stage at the Golden Nugget. Thank you for your time. Who is that sad little person? <laughs> Relatable. <laughs> Who is that sad little disgusting person? What's his name? Cam? Pathetic name. Wait, you got a job at a fashion magazine? Mm -hmm. oh, what was it, a phone interview? Ow! Okay, <laughs> it's sure. Seriously, Miranda Priestley is a huge deal. I bet a million girls would kill for that job. I actually think a million girls have been killed for this job. The way that they're acting. People are scared to, to even be within five meters of this woman. Baby, you should see the way these girls are runway dress. I don't have a thing to wear to work. Come on, you're gonna be answering phones and getting Coffee. You need a ball gown for that? I happen to think you look great always. Aw, what a supportive boyfriend. Hello? Where are you? Oh, I'm almost there. Yeah. There is some reason that my coffee isn't here. Has she died or something? <laughs> It's the total lack of, like, treat her like a human. Did she die on the route back from Starbucks? Get your own coffee, love. Surely you have a coffee machine in this, in this, in this huge posh office. I hope you know that this is a very difficult job, mm -hmm. for which you are totally wrong. And if you mess up, my head is on the chopping block. Now hang that up. Don't just fling it anywhere. Hold on. She's literally went to the shops to get you all coffee so that you don't have to, so that you can concentrate on your jobs. How about a thank you for our lovely woman in the blue sweater? God, don't worry, Anne. I've got your back. The phone must be answered every single time it rings. Calls roll to voicemail and she gets very upset. Man the desk at all times, got it. You're chained to that desk. Pretend you work for our Kelly love. Right, remember you and I have totally different jobs. I mean, you get coffee and you run errands, yet I am in charge of her schedule, her appointments and her expenses. And um, most importantly, um, I get to go with her to Paris for Fashion Week. Yeah, I don't think that's the flex you think it is, love. Like, you're still an assistant to her. Just because you're not the assistant to the assistant doesn't make you this big shot while you book her appointments. All right, sorry. Have you got influence on your bio? Oh, Emily, what do I do? Deal with it. Uh-oh. Hello, Mrs. Priestley's office. Um. You know, she is in a meeting. Can I please take a message? Okay. Can you please spell Gabbana? <laughs> Imagine putting Dolce and Gabbana on hold. To be fair, it doesn't matter who you are. Dolce and Gabbana, Tommy Smith. God, if someone watching this was called Tommy Smith, that would have been a shock for you. That's not what I asked you. I couldn't have been clearer. There you are, Emily. How many times do I have to scream your name? A a actually, it's Andy. Oh, did you see the face? She went... Did you just correct me? That face, they, she like looked her up and down. She was like, you're awfully correcting me whilst you're wearing a, a cotton knitted blue sweater. I could break you at any moment. I could crucify you and nobody would care. Nobody. And Emily? Uh yes. Oh, sorry. I know she's the devil, but I, know I kind of think she's kind of iconic. We all know what she means. She literally went. That's the universal sign for go home, get changed, you're ugly. I tried to ask her, you but never ask Miranda anything right. I will deal with all of this and you will go to Kelvin Klein. Uh, me? Oh, I'm sorry, do you have some prior commitment? You're speaking to, to a normal person here. You're speaking to someone like us, not somebody in this corporate world. Like you say to somebody, yeah, can you just go and like meet with Calvin Klein? They'd be like, what? The person who's got the name on the boxers? The real Calvin Klein? Like, I don't know what Calvin Klein looks like. What am I looking for? You know, like Ralph Lauren. I don't know who, what the hell he looks like. How am I going to find him. I need some pointers here. Hi! Miranda needs you to go to Hermes to pick up 25 scarves we ordered for her. Okay. Cassidy forgot her homework oh. at Dalton. Pick that up. Question in the comments. Could you do this job and this job for how much would they get? Like 70 grand? Uh, is that, I don't know how much they get paid. I'm just guessing. It's quite a lot. Would you do this job for 70 grand a year? Knowing that you would hate the person you're working for. You would hate your existence. Is it worth it for the money? By the way, guys, if you haven't already, do make sure to press the subscribe button. I'm uploading loads of movie reactions for you to binge watch when you're bored so click subscribe to join the donuts and to have a notification when them videos come out what took you so long i have to pee you haven't peed since i left no i haven't been manning the desk haven't i oh hi
I'm sorry, I'm drop kicking her. I'm like, excuse me, love. Here's your fucking bag. You put it away. Takes you two seconds. God. Oh, there you go. Your elf bars dropped out as well. Hide that off your eye. Put your eye out. Right, well, after the loo, Serena and I are going to lunch. This is this is her, the new me. Hi. I thought you were kidding. <laughs> no, quite serious, yeah. I know that in the, it, this type of job, there would be so much backstabbing and so much, like, talking behind each other's backs. I would get ruined. Like, I feel like some people can thrive in an industry like this. This would crush me. Like, someone would go, God, isn't it really weird how his teeth are perpendicular instead of parallel? And I would be like, right, that's that's me going home and uh, listen to Mac Miller in a pitch black room. I don't even think she's dressed that bad. They're all acting as if she's, like, dressed with, like, a swastika on her. I'm sure you had plenty more poly blend where that came from. You think my clothes are hideous? I get it. But they're acting like they're hideous. It's because she's the only person who wears a bit of colour. Like, everyone in this movie is so beige and so grey. She wears blue and they're like, Oh, what are you? You're disgusting! She need an exorcism! A million <laughs> girls would kill for that job. Bye-bye. Chairman of Elias Clark, Nerve Rabbits. You know what they say. Tiny man. Huge. Ego. Stanley, his character is, is, he's obviously like taking the mick out of her, but I feel like he's gonna be a good character. Like at least he's given her the time of day to explain things to her. Like everyone else is just kind of brushing her off and expecting her to just be like dead up to speed from day one. Like normally you have traded. She's had no traded for this job. She's just expected to know what to do, even though she told them in the interview that she doesn't really know what any of this means. It's just baffling to me. Why is it so impossible to put together a decent run through? You people have had hours and hours to prepare. It's just so confusing. Christ, does, does somebody piss on this woman's cornflakes every morning? Is this why she's constantly in a bad mood? There are the belts for this oh, dress. It's a tough call. They're so different. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm with Andy. That's the same belt. Julie, look at them belts. They're the same. Something funny? No, no, nothing's... You know, it's just both those belts look exactly the same to me. You know, I'm still learning about this stuff. I wouldn't have said that, love. I know we're all thinking it, but I wouldn't have said it. You've got some balls, love. I see. You think this has nothing to do with you. What you don't know is that that sweater is not just blue. It's not turquoise. It's not lapis. It's actually cerulean. See, I would have stopped that by now. I'd be like, look, love, not interested. Literally not interested. Like, <laughs> oh, are you still talking? But cerulean? I heard Cerulean. What, what, what's Cerulean again? Oh, good morning, Miranda. Let me Isaac. Oh my god, did she just skin King Kong? What is that coat? That is hideous. God, that's so much worse than the Cerulean jumper. I don't see my breakfast here. Are my eggs here? Where are my eggs? Excuse me! Pick up the Polaroids from the lingerie shirt. Surely, like, you're slipping some laxatives in, like, a coffee or our eggs one day or just something subtle. You know, just something that, like, she won't realise it's you. It's not going to hurt her too much. Right? You don't want to be illegal. But, you know, something that'll just put a, put a bit of a dampener on her day. Oh, thank God it's Friday, right? At least Miranda will be in Miami, so we don't have to be on call this weekend. You know, my dad's coming in from Ohio. Yeah, we're gonna go out to dinner and maybe see Chicago. <laughs> what was that? Why the passive aggressiveness? She was just saying that she's excited her dad's coming. It's like... All right, we get it. Sort of flex. You've got a dad. It's really good to see you. Me too, honey. You want to start grilling me? Oh, now? is this her dad? Until after dinner. Well, I thought I'd let you at least enjoy the bread basket first. No, no, no. It's okay. Go right ahead. Is she gonna like turn into you know like models where they end up just not eating? Is this what is gonna happen? Like, is this going to like actually ruin her health? I feel like it is. I feel like she's gonna change her whole personality and end up like the other assistant, Emily Blunt. I want to know if 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 the devil likes her by the end. I'm sorry, Dad. I have to take this. Hello, Miranda. My flight has been cancelled. I need to get home tonight. The twins have a recital tomorrow morning at school. I'd be like, right, okay, that's unfortunate, love. I'll link you Uber. Treat yourself, get an Addison Lee, right, if you really want to be bougie. But I'll, I'll link you it, don't worry. Why do I need to sort this? Book your own taxi. You can easily do this. It's actually harder to ring me and then for me to organize it. Just download an app. Yes, hi, I need a jet tonight from Miami to New York. The girls' recital was absolutely wonderful. They played Rachmaninoff and loved it, everyone, except me. Sadly, I was not there. Oh, she didn't get other. Do you know why I hired you? I always hire the same girl. Stylish, slender, worships the magazine. Oh, that's kind of passive-aggressive that we've just brushed over. Are you calling her fat? And obviously not stylish. We've made that clear. She's literally dressing in beige now. All the confidence has been beat out of this woman, and it's only like a third or fourth day. I thought you would be different. I said to myself, go ahead, take a chance, hire the smart fat girl. She's called her the small fat girl. Oh my god. Christ. I hope no like lasses watched this movie and thought, oh my god, wait, is that what small and fat looks like? I would just like a little credit for the fact that I'm killing myself trying. Be serious. You are not trying. You are whining. Do you want me to say poor you? Miranda's picking on you. Wake up. She's just doing her job. I feel like she's valid in feeling a little bit down. She's not asking for like the red carpet to be rolled out. All she's asking for is just somebody to say thank you when she does all of these things. Just a simple thank you. 
you. Is that really that hard? This place where so many people would die to work, you only deign to work. And you want to know why she doesn't kiss you on the forehead and give you a gold star on your homework at the end of the day. That's not what she wants. She just wants a thank you. I feel like a gold star would be quite patronizing and a kiss on her forehead would also be that way. Like, that would be quite creepy, actually. Like, if your boss kept kissing you on the forehead, you'd be like, actually, can you stop? I don't know what you expect me to do. Oh, is he gonna, like, try and help her with her style? Let's see if she looks better or worse. All right, we'll turn this for you. What is that? Is she part of the Suicide Squad? Are you really gonna leave looking like that? I'm sorry. No. Put that back on the shelf. This we love. Mm -hmm. It might fit. It might. Okay, now Chanel, you're in desperate need of Chanel. We have to get to the beauty department, and God knows how long that's going to take. <laughs> He's awful, but I kind of like him. The other day we were in the beauty department, yeah. and she held up the swimwear eyelash curler and said, what is this? <laughs> oh, shut up with your tight bun. Nobody cares about you. You're just a side character here. We don't even know your name. You've not even been given a name. Who are you with your weird black dangling beads. God, is this the 90s? Put them back on the shelf, love. From the moment I saw her, she was going to be a complete and utter disaster. <laughs> Miranda Priestley's office? No, actually, she's not available. Yeah. That's right, the bitch is here. Just got a blazer on to see how she use her eyelash curler now. Look at you with your little tight bun. Yeah, you better be pulling that face. We're here, and we're here to stay. Fuck all y'all bitches. Sheesh! I think we better get out of here before my girlfriend sees me. <laughs> These have a cute relationship, bless them. I feel like this is the one thing in our life that actually makes her happy. Look She looks like she's got discount codes in, like, in a bio. Do you know what I mean? She looks like every single Instagram story is hashtag ad. Some hairbrushes, a little Clinique. Ooh, oh, damn it. I love your job. <gasps> this is no Marc Jacobs. Miranda didn't want it, so. Oh, no, 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 no. This bag is $1,900. I cannot take this from you. Why do women need so many bags? <laughs> women with the bags and pillow fights. Am I right, guys? Get rid of them, I say. We don't need them. Nate. I got it. It's, uh, yep, the dragon no, lady. Miranda. Let me talk to her. No, okay, I need that. I'll Get her own. Oh no, 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 don't no, do no, that. No, don't do that. Her personality's definitely changed, hasn't it? Like at the start, she was very relaxed, you know, just kind of, oh yeah, just going with the flow. Now she's very uptight. She's very stressed, obviously, with her job. But I feel like, is that going to have a negative effect? Because you see, like, the little looks that our friends give each other. So I feel like this is going to put a strain on their relationship. I'm Andy. I'm picking up from Miranda Priestley. Oh, yes. You you must be the new Emily. You're working for Miranda Priestley now. You must be in desperate need of hard liquor. She love the punch. Uh, I can order for myself. Thank you very much, man with the receding hairline. I won't have the punch. What even is punch? I'll give you a punch. Deadly. Have fun. He's, he's right, you know. Hmm? Punch. I drag it oh, he looks like some sort of fashion designer. They've nailed that. I know that his job is some some pretentious job. Look at that little scarf. It's a bit lower down to show he's a little bit quirky. Christian Thompson? You're kidding. You write for like every magazine I love. I actually, I reviewed your collection of essays from my college newspaper. Did you mention my good looks? My color chart? What do you do? Oh, well, um, uh, I'm a slave to uh, Meryl Streep, or as we call her, the devil. I'm the devil's slave. By the way, this man is trying to flirt with her. Do you not know this girl has a boyfriend? Right now, I'm working as Miranda Priestley's assistant. Oh, you're kidding. Well, that's too bad. That's... Oh, never survived Miranda. That's gonna be the twist. Miranda's actually killing their assistants. She's gonna get put in jail at the end of the movie. That's me wild, right? I'm allowed a wild prediction. Camera work on this movie is so good. It's so good. And if you realize, like, the, the, the background music, like, everything's on beat. Like, the pace of this movie is just bang, 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 bang. It is so good. Like, we've watched, what have we watched? Legally Blonde. We've watched Mean Girls. We've watched Seventeen again. They were great. But I feel like they're, they're funny to, like, look back on and, like, you know, there's cringy moments in this. This movie has no real cringy moments. We're not laughing at it. I feel like we're more laughing with this movie. Like, it's it still stands up today. Miranda insists upon seeing all the designers' collections before they show them. And she tells them what she thinks? in her way. Uh, this season really began for me with- I'm sorry, but like, this man is in charge of fashion. I'm very much of the belief that you just wear what you want to wear. But if you're going to judge what other people wear, why are you wearing a shirt with a tie like that? Like, what is this? Are you in like a, a street dance crew? Have you got like fashion practice at two? And then the Backstreet Boys training with diversity at seven? Like, what is this? This is the dress that we have designed specifically and exclusively for you. And of course, there's the pursing of the lips. <laughs> oh, this woman's like such a queen. The fact she's got this position in our business where like if she just does this look 
people shit themselves. Oh, it's so good. Now, it's very important that you do exactly what I'm about to tell you. Step number one, unlive Assembled yourself. by what? 10, 10.30, and you must wait around for it until then. Okay, so basically, if you've missed this, she's now now been given the duty of, like, to deliver the book, which has, like, got, like, everything about the business in, like, the weekly update and everything, to Miranda's house, and, and like, Miranda only lets people she trusts come to her house, so this is, like, a big thing. You do not talk to anyone. You do not look at anyone. This is of the utmost importance. You must be invisible. Do you understand? Hang the dry cleaning in the closet across from the staircase. I'm sorry, right, but if you're in this, like, rich, I don't know if she's a billionaire or, like, multi multi millionaire, you're having a little tour, right? You're getting a few little selfies. Or you're, like, you're taking a photo of some, like, rich shit and putting it in your group chat, being like, what? She's literally got, like, a dead man's head. Like, what's going on here? Why she got Michael Jackson's toe just on her bedside table? Is that door to the left? <gasps> she talked to the children, the pivot! Oh, what happens if they're tricking you? What happens if they're evil rich kids? You can give the book to us. No. Emily does it all the time. Right, she does. No, these are evil children. Never trust two children that look the same. That's another rule. Add it to the book. Why would you leave it? Oh, actually, wait a minute. No, 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 no. She was in the house this entire time. Like, okay, I know you want to be productive, but is it really that much of a ball ache to just answer the door and take the book? Does it really need to be put on a specific place? What's that about? I'd be like, love, I'm not putting it where, like, on a specific table. You've got loads of fucking tables with flowers. Here's your book. Then I know I've given it to you. And then we're on the same page, love. You went upstairs. Oh my God, why didn't you just climb into bed with her and ask for a bedtime story? Okay, okay. I made a mistake, I know. If you get fired, that might jeopardize Paris for me, and if that happens, I will search every blimpies in the tri-state area until I track you down. Yeah, that's the worst thing about her getting fired, is that you don't get to go to Paris. Yeah, that is definitely what's on her mind. Not the fact that she has no money and probably can't pay her rent. We have all the published Harry Potter books. Twins want to know what happens next. You want the unpublished manuscript? Well, we know everyone in publishing. It shouldn't be a problem, should it? And you can do anything. Wait, she wants the unpublished Harry Potter books? I don't even think Daniel Radcliffe could get those. I'm not. I'm gonna get a copy of that book. My girls are leaving on the train for their grandmothers at four, so the book better be here. No later than three. How do you even go about getting an unpublished version of a Harry Potter book? Like, how, how do you even stop? I know it's impossible to get, but I was wondering if you could make the impossible possible. And if you don't have that Harry Potter book by then, don't even bother coming back. Oh my god. I feel like she's gonna have to, you know, at least have a little bit of, like, give with this one. Like, what, what happens if she, like, settles for second best? What happens if you get her, like, the unpublished book of Wizards of Waverly Place? Right? That's got Selena Gomez in. It's about wizards. They'll be happy with that, right? Quit? Are you sure? I failed. She's gonna fire me anyway. I might as well beat her to the punch. Good for you. Congratulations. You're free. Oh, why'd she quit? Hello? I'm brilliant. No, really. Monuments should be erected in my honor. You didn't. Oh, yes. Friend of a friend does the cover art, and she happens to have the manuscript. No, not this guy. This guy's slimy. Andy, I feel like this guy's gonna use it against you. He's gonna be like, you want it? What do I get in return? Where's me hug? No, he's that kind of guy. How has she managed to get that? That is incredible. Surely she One says copy. thank you. What are my twins gonna do with that? Share. That is so cool. The reaction to getting the unreleased Harry Potter script is, what, are my twins gonna share one? How do you not just go, oh, sorry, love. Bro, get out. I'd be wrapping them beads around her neck a couple of more times. No, no, I made two copies. And had them covered, reset, and bound so that they wouldn't look like manuscripts. This is an extra copy to have on file. Well, where are these fabulous copies? There was a twin, snow on the train on the way to Grandma's. <laughs> Okay. I under message, under underestimated you. Underestimated you, Andy. The character development you've had in this movie is fantastic. You've impressed the devil here. Please, for the love of God, say thank you. Is there anything else I can do for you? Mm -mm. I'm going to kill this woman. I will kill this woman myself. If I ever meet Meryl Streep, the actual Meryl Streep, I'm going to be like, yo, that, in that movie, you were a right bitch. You need to sort yourself out of... Okay, this is going to be a turning point in the movie. I feel like she's actually angry that she did well. I'm still the same person I was. Same Andy. Better clothes. I like the old clothes. Well, what about these necklaces? Do you like them? And this dress, it's new. This guy's an oz. What the hell? You know if she's happy or she feels like she's doing well with her job. Surely you just support her, right? Like if this is what she wants, I'll just I'll just go with it. I love her. Like why is he like? Ugh, you look terrible. Like what? Are you insecure, sir? Before the benefit tonight, I need to make sure that you're both fully prepped on the guest list. I, I thought that only the first assistant went to the benefit. Oh, the tide has turned. She's going from the, the second assistant to the first. Look, you better just start without me, okay? I'll get there as soon as I can. Andy. Come on, it's his birth. Oh, is she missing her boyfriend's birthday? Ah, I feel like her and her boyfriend are gonna split up by the end of this. I can't see them lasting. Look at us, we're beautiful. Isn't that just 
Jacqueline Follet from French Runway. That's not her. That's the person that gives Deadpool anal. <laughs> <laughs> I just came out. Oh my god, I just, I just can't remember what his name is. I, I just saw his name this morning on this. Wait, he was he was part of. Oh wait, so they have to do like obviously research on everyone that's at the party, and then they feed the information to the devil before she speaks to them. So it looks like the devil knows everything about them. That's kind of cold and manipulative. That's like a whole new level. You'd be like, wow, the devil's actually really nice. Why do people say she's horrible? It's Ambassador Franklin and <gasps> the woman that he left his. Oh my for. god, she's actually gonna take Emily Blunt's job. Thank God I saved your job. You know, I figured out a few things on my own too. Weren't for the stupid boyfriend, I'd have to whisk you away right here and now. Oh, the first time I've cringed at something in this movie. But weren't for the stupid boyfriend, I'd whisk you away right now. Like he was some scrambled egg. Well actually she does have a stupid boyfriend. He's not much. Okay. He's a little bit arsey to her. But he's still our boyfriend. So go away, man with blonde eyebrows. We don't need you. And your unreleased version of books that you can strangely get, which we still haven't really figured out how. Ah, oh, she missed the dinner. Happy birthday. I'm sorry, but that is a pathetic cake. That is pathetic. If that was my birthday cake, I would be like, what? You could have just got us a Millie's cookie. You could have got us anything, but a cupcake. How old am I, one? I kept trying to leave, but there was a lot going on. You know, I didn't have a choice. Can we at least talk about this? You look really pretty. <laughs> That was, sorry, that was such pick-me energy. I feel like she's just trying to better herself. She's trying to climb like a ladder. She's putting in a lot of work. She's not really receiving the support from her boyfriend. It is a bit shitty that she did miss his birthday meal. I just don't feel like these two work together. Paris is the most important week of my entire year. I need the best possible team with me. That no longer includes Emily. Wait, you, you want me to- Oh my God, if you missed that, Emily, the other assistant, the first assistant, has been hopping on about going on this Paris trip the entire year. And now she's just, uh, the devil's just said she, Emily's not going on it. And we're going on it, which getting catching. But I actually fear for Emily's health at this point. First, she had the cold down no Paris. What's next? Oh, life is about Paris. She hasn't eaten in weeks. I, I can't do that, Miranda. I, I can't. If you don't go, I'll assume you're not serious about your future. This is such a cutthroat industry. Obviously, I don't know how, uh, you know, uh, relevant this is to actual fashion jobs. But Christ, I would not want to work in this industry if it's anything like this. We know what that means. We've leveled up, baby! We no longer get the coat thrown at us on the bag. This is what we worked up towards. Our whole life. We've made it, guys. We've made it. Andrea, don't forget to tell Emily. <gasps> she's going to make her tell her that she's not going to Paris. That's evil. By the way, you're not going to Paris and uh, I'm actually taking your plane seat. Yeah, sorry about that. Can I can I have the clothes that you bought for it as well? Just because I want something new to wear. That's all right. Emily, but, but, but when you come in, there's something we I have to talk to you about. Well, I hope it's not another Miranda problem. Not exactly. Well, good, because I've got so much deal with before I go, I swear to God, I'm What? She just got hit by a car? Can this day get any worse? First, Emily's not going to Paris. Wait, how did they make that TV show then? There was never an Emily in Paris. This can't be real. <laughs> Oh wait, no, this is good though. This is good that she's got hit by a car. Listen, hear me out. They can use this as an excuse. She can be like, you were going to Paris. But then that car, oh, it ruined everything. I guess I'm gonna have to go. I don't want to, but I'll, I'll go if I have to. Oh, just his face makes me want to vomit. I'm profiling Gautier for interview. Making my Paris plans, I found myself wondering. Uh, you were gonna be there. He's gonna be in Paris as well. We can't get away from this slime ball. Sorry, I'll be too busy working. Not to find someone else's life to change. I like this though. She's c climbing the, the the ladder of you know like a like a corporate job, but she's not ditching the people that she had before. That's awful when people do that. She's like, no, I've got a boyfriend. F off, me. I don't want you and your weird stubbly beard that you refuse to shave. I'm beginning to wonder if I can. Uh. No, it's not what he looks like. No. Oh, you bastard. That's the guy I know from work. Yeah, that looked like work. Look, well, you're making a big deal out of it. You know, the Andy I know is madly in love with Nate. But this person, this glamazon who skulks around in corners with some random hot fashion guy, I don't get her. You're just an art. You're not a friend. She's literally, like, trying to better herself. Like, trying to make a better life for herself. Like, she's trying to do possibly what you're doing. You know, she's trying to get on your level. Are you, like, insecure that she's going to surpass you? Why do you want her to just stay the same? Like, surely you want your friends to do better and grow. This is not a friend. Andy, what the hell is wrong I, with I, you? I didn't have a choice, okay? I Miranda asked me and I, I couldn't say no. I know, that's I, your answer for everything lately. I didn't oh. have a choice. I wouldn't care if you were out there pole dancing all night, as long as you did it with a little integrity. Wait, what? Do I, it makes no sense. She'd rather she does OnlyFans if she really went for it. I'd rather you really went for OnlyFans than did this job trying to better yourself in the fashion industry. What does that even mean? You used to make fun of the runway girls. What happened? Now, now you've become one of them. That's absurd. Hey, just own up to it. And then we can stop pretending like we have anything in common anymore. She hasn't changed that much. She's still like the same person 
personality like the same person she just dresses like she's took note of how she dresses which isn't that much of a personality shift really her personality and how much she loves you she's been consistent with that maybe we should take a break oh no they're taking a break does this mean that the the posh man's gonna get her oh they're in paris of course you do are you working tonight actually miranda has a dinner great you're free wait don't tell me the boyfriend no blue oh i hate this guy imagine this is a, is, is, is a girl doing this to your boyfriend like imagine how that would feel you'd be like why doesn't she just go away like why is he so weird i know they've split up now but they've just split up he's trying too hard she doesn't want you so i don't need to fetch Stephen from the airport tomorrow well if you speak to him and he decides to rethink the divorce then yes fetch <gasps> the devil has feelings this is great the devil is not just this awful human Human. The devil actually feels pain. We need to strike now. We need to kill her. While she's weak. The only way out of this job. Oh, okay, I just want to say. Oh, why are we on a date with him? You're better than this, Andy. If they kiss, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the roof. Nope. Get your stupid lips off her. Stop kissing. Stop it. Stop. Nobody asked for this. Nobody wants this. We don't want the other guy, really. You know, he's, he's kind of not helping us at all. But we don't want this guy. We want to be independent. Oh. We better not have slept together. We better not have. Bonjour, madame. Oh. I'm just going to compose myself. Calm down. It's okay. It's not okay. It's terrible. This is awful. Why did we do this? Why did we sleep with that man? What the hell is this? What does it look like? It's a marker. Uh? Of what American runway will look like when Jacqueline Follet is the new editor-in-chief. What? Miranda's getting sucked? Jacqueline's a lot younger than Miranda. She has a fresher take on things. Not to mention that American runway is one of the most expensive books and- Oh wait, was he using us to get informit- He was using- not only was the man just trying to shag us in general, he was, he was using us. That's why he went out of his way to get the unreleased Harry Potter. The bastard! I knew it! As soon as I seen his face, I went, that man can't be trusted. I saw them blonde eyebrows and I went, never trust a man with blonde eyebrows and I was proven right once again. Jacqueline does the same thing for a lot less money. Cut off his penis, love, with a butter knife so it's slow. It should come as no surprise that when the time came for James to choose the new president of James Holt International, he chose from within the runway family. And it's my great happiness today to announce to you all that that person is my friend Jacqueline Follet. <laughs> Oh, hey, really? The Deadpool pegger? Wow. Wait, that is the Deadpool pegger. Have I got her wrong? I might have got her wrong. Wait, I feel like she's actually a baddie in Iron Man. Now I'm thinking about... She's something. Truth is, there is no one that can do what I do. Especially because of the list. The list of designers, photographers, editors, writers, models, all of whom were found by me, nurtured by me, and have promised me they will follow me. So he reconsidered. But I was very, very impressed by how intently you tried to me. I really, I see a great deal of myself in you. Thank you. Thank you. Finally, we're one hour 32 minutes into this movie and we have our first compliment. Thank you. We, we will treasure this one. They need and you can choose for yourself. I couldn't do something like that. You already did to Emma. No, that, that was different. I didn't have a choice. Oh, no, you chose. The only reason that we did kind of throw Emily under the bus was because she did uh, go under a car. But she was so nasty to us at the start. She was trying to crush us. She wasn't trying to harden us. You were, you were trying to harden us, I will give you that. Okay, you you were you were making Andy, like, be accustomed to hardship. She was just talking behind my back. She was just being nasty. She deserved what came to her. But what if this isn't what I want? I mean, what if I don't... I want to live the way you live. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Andrea. Everybody wants to be us. That's true. I actually have uh, framed photos of her every morning that I kiss. I have to be at work in 20 minutes. Are we going to get back with him? I wanted to say that you were right about everything. I turned my back on my friends and my family and on everything I believed in. And for what? For shoes and shirts. <laughs> Okay, right. Andy's having some self ownership, being like, "Look, like I did push you away." Okay, which, which he did. That's just what happens when you get older and you get like a, like a, like a, like a real full time job. You do have to work to live. Like you can't see your friends every single night. Otherwise, you will not be able to pay pay your bills. Especially if she, you've got a job like what she has, where not only are you trying to pay your bills, you're trying to like rise in the company so you can ha make a better life for yourself. You are gonna have to push some things away for a short while. I feel like he should also apologize for not supporting her because we've apologized for. I'm saying we. <laughs> Why do I keep saying we? There is apology on both sides here. I flew up to Boston while you were gone. Interviewed at the Oak Room. And you're looking at their new sous chef. I'm moving up there in a couple weeks. It's 
great. Congratulations. Are we really going to move away with this man? What about you? I mean, what are you going to do now? Actually, I uh, have a job interview today. Oh, yeah? I can't believe she's just going to get another job after this. I feel like she needs therapy. I feel like she needs a year out. I feel like she needs to go traveling or something to get over the pain that we've just had. You can't just get a normal job. How do you just go back into everyday life? Hold over there for reference. Left word with some snooty girl. Next thing you know, I got a fax from Miranda Priestley herself saying that of all the assistants she's ever had, you were by far her biggest disappointment. And if I don't hire you, I am an idiot. Must have done something right. Why do, why do I feel emotional right now? I got so invested in this movie. I've just realized about the end of the movie now. I got so invested. I was like there the entire time. This movie gripped us. This has been a great fucking movie. Oh, I've got goosebumps. What the hell? Why have I got goosebumps? perfect no that was perfect if she waved back it would have been like oh cool no that's perfect that is what we needed kind of sad right now i don't want this to end oh she's smiling go what a great movie donuts this is the best one we've watched i don't know if it's a 10 out of 10 i feel like we need to leave 10 out of 10 for a movie that is just undisputed this isn't gonna hit 10 out of 10 but i'm gonna give it a 9.2 there was room for improvement but all in all it was a great movie i thoroughly enjoyed it and i got goosebumps which is always a good sign if you would like to watch me react to one of the movies i've mentioned click right here and go on a binge of them Tom Kirkham, baby. <laughs>